Hi to Practical Patriots and Practical Preppers. Yoko to Gruz, Aus, Texas. Hey folks, John Practical Nurse. You know, as much as I'd like to be, I am not this young man anymore. I've gotten older, and my body's definitely gone through a few changes. I am, though, the first person responsible for my own safety and the safety and defense of my little farm. Big shout out to Bartholomew, Solomon. Let me get this down here. Solomon up there, Jesse Young. We were with the 101st Airborne Division, 501st Signal at this time. And here I am with the 3rd Armored Division, 533rd MI. I've been lately up in my game and getting items that will help me with my aging process. And I think this one might be a good call right here. Primary Arms SLX 3 times Microprism. Now, this optic has got a rugged micro size design. It's a removable heavy-duty base with eight mounting options on it, right here. Different ways you can mount this on your firearm. Uh, Auto Live motion sensing technology increases battery life, daylight brightness, illumination, also night vision compatible. I believe it's got 13 settings on this thing. Now it is an etched reticle. I got this one before my 760 by 39, and I also still have a 300 blackout. This thing is yard-based BDC reticle. Uh, when it's illuminated, this one has a red one. It's got, this is a really cool reticle, y'all, and I will try to go over it in this video. If not, I'll definitely catch up on it. But I know you're eager to see what's in the box. So here's everything that comes in the box. you got a uh, user manual. You've got uh, for, for mounting it using the different little height adjustments you can do use on this. You have a, a manual that describes you know, how to use the uh, reticle itself, lens protector. You have some thread locker. As I said, you have these different variations uh, of height adapters that you can use. Uh, removable heavy-duty base with eight unique mounting heights included, which I think is really neat. You know, and then you got some screws that got thread locker already on them. You have Allen key, Allen wrench, however you want to say it. This wrench right here is specifically for these bolts right here. A lens cleaning cloth. And let me show you something. I had mentioned... You know, about having a strong back, lighter load. I'm going to show you this. This right here is my 300 blackout upper. This also is a primary arms uh, 3X optic with the ACSS reticle. Also for 762 by 39 or 300 blackout. Now look at this right here. Look at the size of the relationship. This right here is less than, the entire optic right here is less than 3 inches. And if you see how beefy this other one is compared to this one. You know, and this is this has got some heft to it. Don't get me wrong. Like, we'll take it out and test it. We'll see just how tough it is. But uh, I really find that amazing that that right there is a lot smaller, a lot compact. Save you some weight. Like I said, my age, you're interested in saving a few, you know, ounces there. Ounces lead to pounds. Pounds lead to what, y'all? Pain. All right. Trying to get you a, a good, clean image of that reticle. Eye relief is about two inches or five centimeters. And the reticle is, as I said, etched. You can change that to red if you want to. But I really like that. The glass is nice and clear. I've got good magnification. So let's get this thing mounted up on a rifle. So before we head over to the shooting range, how about we do a little test here? You ducks mine up a bar, you pull here. One to go get it, two to go get it, three to go get it, four to go get it, five to go get it, six to go get it, seven to go get it, eight to go get it, nine to go get it, ten to go get it. Some icky water there. <laughs> you know, I call this the, the dunk test, and the reason is, is see if I can get in here. The reason is, is because one time I was chased by a hog right into a darn creek, and there you have the reticle. All right, so that means that she will survive a little swim there in the pond. All righty, there you have it. Let's head over to the shooting range. So I'm sitting here at the 25 meter, 25 yard line over here, downrange from the target over there. And you may have noticed that I've actually put this optic on the old Romanian Wasser. <laughs> Big shout out to my buddies over there on Facebook, anything AKSKS, SVD, etc. They're a great bunch of folks over there, a lot of veterans out there hanging out also. Good place to have conversation, share images. Check them out if you're on Facebook. But I want to 
take a quick a couple of quick shots down range and uh, see what we got. You know, I'll have to do a little bit of adjustments maybe, but let's find out. Let's see how she did after her drink. Let's go have a look down range. Okay. All right, for starters, let me tell you something about those targets. Those are actually 50 foot targets. I'm way back there, like 25 yards, 25 meters. All right, size of my fist fits inside the uh, nine ring, as I call it. Take my thumb. All right, not too bad, as far as I'm concerned. Understand that's like the tip of my thumb all the way to the first joint right there. I consider that actually pretty good. Not too bad for my eyesight. And trust me, this optic sure helps sharpen it up. How about we take it back to 50 meter? At this point, I just want to kind of now hit paper. Again, 50 foot target. Okay, it's smaller than your standard uh, targets you use to qualify with the B27s. So let's see what we got back here. Let me tape this up and we'll march it off back over to the 50 meter range. So I'm here at the 50 meter mark. Uh, there is behind me like a rock that at one time I painted red. That's kind of where, how I use uh, to tell me where the 50 meter mark is. You know, so meters, yards, you know, meters, a little more than a yard. If you think about it that way, it's really not so hard. So I just want to see if I can hit paper from this distance. Again, we're talking about my eyesight and the three times magnification on this optic. You probably asked me why 25 meters, that stuff. We'll get into that in a later, later video, sorry. <laughs> just gonna take three quick shots here. And see where they land. Just like I'm sitting right here like this. See where they land, you know. My theory is if I can hit paper from this distance, if I can see that, that small target from here, I'm actually doing pretty good for my age. Hold on, let's go have a look. Well, I can tell you I'm not going to win any marksmanship championships here, but... <laughs> for, like I said, aged eyesight, it's kind of a little bit everywhere there. Alright, just to give you kind of a visual. Pull this back a little bit. Alright, here's this bullet, and there's... There's that bullet, and if you look right around here, that's where that one hit. So not too bad. I would I I would take that as pretty good. Again, all this is all in the eight ring. Let me put a little piece of tape on those, and how about I take it off to the hundred meter mark or seventy five meter mark? So now I'm here at seventy five meters, and I notice that kind of everything is kind of in my way, except for the steel target. The white one down range has got nice clear view, so I'm going to try to hit that. Let's see what we got, okay? <laughs> how about we try 100 meters? I'll show you how big that target is when we get back over there. Let's head out to 100 meters. Now, if an old guy can hit that from this range, uh, I'm going to say it's micro uh, optic from primary arms is doing... Uh, really good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go back to 100 meter range here. Goat head stickers. They're nice out here. So here we are at the 100 meter range distance from that from the target over there. Again, I'm looking at the steel target and making sure that my geese and everybody's out of the way. But let's see if we can hit that. And that was my last round out of that mag. <laughs> I think this thing is pretty good. Taking a look at my steel target here, got five hits from 75 and 100 meters. And if you're curious about the size of this target, from top to bottom, it's 20 inches. Across, it's about 11 and a half. From shoulder to about the bottom over here, it's 15 and 7 eighths. And I like this target, and I like these paper targets because they're roughly the same size. There's not much kind of difference in size on them. So while I'm zeroing on paper, I get to play with the steel target. 
like I said, roughly about the same size. Let's go over some really cool features I've noticed on this optic also. Taking a look at some of the other features I really like about this optic is the diopter right here for those of us that have an astigmas. And let me kind of just zoom in here and show you this. The windage and elevation adjustment and the knobs are nice and recessed, won't get caught on anything. You know, you could probably use a quarter, nickel, you know, a dime. I use my Gerber and looking over here, let me show you this. Brightness level setting, you got a little little raised area right there. You know, night vision one, night vision two, night vision three, four. And what I really like about it is you can actually turn it back around and go to 13, which I think is really awesome tell you what this optic is really becoming the gold standard of optics on my AK pattern rifles I do plan on getting one that's set up for the uh, 556 545 by 39 uh, price I was lucky I got this thing I must have been at the right place at the right time it was on sale for $235 and I picked it up I really am very pleased with this thing I always encourage everyone to read the literature that comes with your optics. The biggest thing I want to talk about on this moment here is to get to know your bullet drop compensation part of the manual. It tells you exactly where like your point of aim is at and what distance you're good for. Like the very tip of the chevron is at 100 yards. Uh, right below that is the 200 area. And, and why these lines are like that, 400 meters, 500, it's because if you line shoulder to shoulder, with these lines it kind of gives you about an estimate of where that's going to be at so like i said i always encourage everyone to read the literature that comes with them if you get a chance to check this out this is a wonderful optic again this has become my gold standard primary arms slx three times micro prism definitely gonna pick up one for my 545 by 39 ak rifles questions comments leave them below until i see y'all again i'm johnny practical nurse salute out here